Hello, this is Steve from Lessons Online TV, and in this time I'm not going to say this whole standard monologue at the beginning. Um, this is Steve, and in this lesson I'm going to try to tell you, like, introduce to you a few nouns that we use in everyday speech. Like, when I say everyday, you might hear it anywhere. It's a common occurrence. In everyday speech, any time of the day, you might want to say something about food, water, go home, get a coffee, something like that. And even if you're a tourist here, then you're definitely going to need some of these. So let's start. First off, we have the most basic thing in the universe. Like, I don't know, for human life. Nero, which means the water. Now, just for the grammatical aspect of it, you have O, I, TO. I don't know if I have said anything about these before. This is a male, female and the neuter articles and this is a neuter noun I think I have said that this is a neuter noun in the past and it just means water do not worry about the declensions I'll say more about the declensions in the next videos but you just need to say nero like, even if you say the word people will understand that you're looking for water it's that simple um, food now generally food um, the, the proper word for food is to fajito. This does not look so nice. It's actually Omicron. Right? Uh, this means like... It, it can be explained. This is like a composite word in a sense. It, it means like something that is meant to be eaten and therefore it is food. Uh, but when you actually speak you, you don't say all this. We have a shortened word which is tofai. Now, this is the first time I'm going to say something about the accentuation. This is like the accent is properly here, is normally here. But if I put the accent here, according to what I have already told you, then this is pronounced fe. This is not fe, this is fai. So therefore, we need to use another diacritic to show you that this is not fe. And we use these. It's like the umlaut, right? But you just put these, it's all, like you only use accents on vowels, and you just put these to show that this is not a diphthong, even though you have the accent on top of the second letter. And this means food, so here we have water and food. Now, if you want a coffee at some point, coffee in modern Greek is o cafes, and this actually means the brown. I don't know if it's a coincidence that this is also the color brown. It's like the chicken and the egg problem because mm, to cafe is the, is the brown, it's neuter, it's the color brown. And o cafes, like the male counterpart, means coffee. But I do not know if coffee is called the brown because it's brown or brown is brown because it's got the color of the coffee. It's not something really worth, like, thinking about. But just keep it in mind. O cafes, it's coffee. Right? If you want sugar with it, then you might need zachary. And it's a female noun, as you can see. And uh, maybe you might get asked. Usually the, wa the waiter tells you, like, the guy who's going to bring you the coffee is going to ask you, Megala, with, with milk. Uh, to gala is milk. I think these like are basic nouns. You could ask for uh, milk any time of the day. You could ask for sugar and so on. Um, now, these are like pretty sp special cases in the case, in the case of food. But you might actually want to say something different, like totally different. You might be looking for a bus or a train station, right? Uh, the train, it's not right, a Greek word. Uh, it's, we write it now as such with epsilon. In, in the past, it wasn't written like this. The treno is train. It's, I think it's easy to remember because it, it, it sounds similar. It's not that different. And... Uh, you have, for example, the bus, it's Toleoforio. 
I, I'm not sure if this originates from Laos. I'm not sure, but if it does, then this actually means people bringer, something like that, people carrier. Um, bus and the other like means of tran transportation, at least it exists in Athens and Thessaloniki. It's um, to metro, and as you can see, it's metro. It's it's not different. It's the metro, right? Um, that's actually just about it. Oh, and you might actually want to say something about a car, and it's to a maxi. That actually means carriage, but now it means like car. Or like the most proper word. It's to autokinito. Practically, it means the self-moving. Auto generally, it's a prefix showing that something is happening to itself. Like to what is mentioned after auto happens to itself on its own. So it's like it's moving. Kino means to move, and uh, it's moving on its own. It's also car. It's the most official word for car. So. Now we've got transportation, we've got food. And um, if you are looking for like nightclubs or something, then of course nightclub will be enough. Like even the Greek youngsters call it nightclub. But usually we omit night and we actually write it with Greek letters sometimes. Not on the signs, but let's say you're actually reading a chat between two Greeks, they're actually going to write it with Greek letters like this. It's pronounced club. It's exactly the same thing. And it's a club, right? Night club. Um, oh. And when it comes to transportation, just thought of it, you also have the taxi, as you call it, the cab. I don't know. And we just call it to taxi. You just accentuate it at the end. Taxi, not taxi, right? That's easy enough, I think. Um, when you want some alcoholic beverage, you might be asked for ID, as usual. Taftotita. But do not go that far. I don't think you're actually going to have such problems ever here. Uh, they hardly ever check. Um, now, alcohol. Yeah, alcoholic beverages. Wine, for example. Okay, wine, beer. Um, Ibira. is the word for beer, right? It's actually pretty similar. It's not that different. I think it, it doesn't need much explanation. And tokrasi is wine. Krasi, or if you want it in more formal speech, inos. And when it comes to other alcoholic beverages, you're going to find them all by their name. They don't have some kind of different name or anything. You're going to find Bacardi is Bacardi, Vodka is Vodka, and so on. A lot of the stuff, like with our actual names. So as a basic list, I think this is more than enough. Perhaps I, not perhaps, I, I sh certainly have missed other basic words that I just didn't think of at this moment. But I think that these are, like, enough to give you an idea of how nouns are, like they have a specific structure, they have their articles, and they have a specific format, like most male nouns, well, I only wrote one, so bad, okay, most male nouns end with sigma, and female nouns end with either e or a, and so on. It doesn't really need that much of an explanation. You're going to see in the, in the next videos how that works out. And, uh, okay, I don't need to, I don't think I have to anything more to tell you about these. So I'll see you in the next videos where I will try to break down all these categories, not not all these, like these three categories into specific patterns so that you know how to work with them. So I'll see you in the next video.